Welcome back everyone. In the previous video we cover functions for users, how we're gonna manage the users and in this video we're gonna export those functions as we already did but we're gonna use them in the different part of the components and grab our user. So, but before that let's copy this and let's provide it at the top. Okay and now we can start with the login component with the login component we can go over here const and we can destructure sign with google and it's gonna be use context and auth context so we're gonna grab that from up context and with destructuring this initial state what we need for that we need to import that auth context from app context app context we need that use context uh, import that use context and what else now we can grab that provide it at the bottom over here on click function click provide it sign with google and we can go to the web refresh it inspect it console sign with google and i'm already uh, i'm already signed in but this should work we should get the user we are not getting the user so let's go back to our application and see where did we get wrong on state changed oh we need to provide a user over here let's go back let's sign with the google and try to refresh it let's go to our media and we are in we created our user but over here we are not displaying our user let's see why did we even console log our user let's see don't see anywhere so console.log dot log did I forget about that user here and let's see user and we'll make one more when we user data data when we gonna and here is our user if we refresh here is our user so let's see okay and now we need to make that when we are logged in we are gonna we're gonna get our user so this is working okay let's go back and let's make that let's go back to our login component let's create that use effect whatever that state changes so let's go back to the login component and let's create use effect function above this initial value so use effect and over here be sure to import it at the top set loading to the true then if then we need on state changed we will here provide auth and user okay like that then what we gonna check if there is an user we wanna navigate to our home page else if there is no user we wanna put set loading to the false and we're gonna do that as well over here if there is an user we need on state change and not we can import that from our <coughs> from our firebase that we created so like this firebase slash firebase and let's create that navigate const navigate use navigate and use navigate gonna be imported from react router dom what else we need we can go to app context and here login with user and email we are gonna change that it's gonna be with email and password because sign in with email and password 
just for simplicity and let's provide that over here provide it over here and let's go to the login and import it over here we're gonna use that don't forget to put second parameter and add navigate navigate and over here if form is valid we can call that and provide that email and password and we will remove this alert and put set load into the true and if something else happened we'll provide it to the false now we can go to our database we can clear this user that we are getting users so delete it authentication delete this as well so delete it and now let's try again user is null let's sign with Google okay we sign in and we are inside our database our user got the data and our user data is null undefined because we're gonna get that when we register and when we log or when we logged in so let's create this for the register as well let's go to the register now first what we need we need that context const register with email and password use context and it's gonna be of context let's import that auth context from app context and also that use context and use effect hook as well we can go to the login we can copy the entire use effect hook provide it over here now we need that from firebase we can copy that as well paste it over here so auth and auth state changed and here from link use navigate and let's create a variable called const navigate equals use navigate great what else we we need to set up register with email and password we're gonna provide if form is good then we're gonna send that name email and password over here alert we don't need we're gonna put set loading to true otherwise we're gonna provide and put it over here to the false when that is done what can we check over here uh, everything seems okay now we can jump to our navbar component and provide something as so let's go to the navbar user links over here we can const provide sign let's see the name sign out user let's copy it go to our user links sign out equals use context auth context provide that use context hook at the top and let's import auth context from our app context slash app context let's copy this sign out user and provide it over here on click sign out user let's go to our application when we click our user is null we refresh everything is null but user stayed over here inside our database and in our authentication let's go back to our application we can go to the register page so register okay we can type something like marco marco123 mail.com marco marco and sign in we're gonna change this and provide register so let's go sign in for now and now we are getting the user data user display name is null 
and user data we got all the informations that we need great we can go to the user links now and what else can we cover we can now get rid of this and as you can see when we refresh we are staying inside our component and user data got the data what we're gonna do we're gonna go inside that user links component and where is this user we're gonna provide something to display that user we're gonna go user dot display name if it's there and if it's if it's equal to null or user dot name but user data dot name is different from undefined then what you want to put user data dot name we're gonna check our add we're gonna grab that first character uh, what are we trying to do right now we are trying to made the user with the capital letters so to uppercase case to uppercase otherwise I mean we still need a plus here user data uh, dot name dot slice one and otherwise what we want to provide user dot display name we want to split it because we or we or we are getting the name and the last name over there by this and only get the first one in that list it's screaming at us because we don't have user and user data and we can simply import them at the top over here when we go to our component we refresh and we are getting some errors so let's see what is wrong name name slice split display name It's different from undefined. Give us user data dot name to uppercase. Maybe this should be like that. And let's go back to our components. When we refresh, we are getting our username with a capital letter right now. Let's provide users here in the left sidebar. But before that, when we are in the navbar let's grab a link so let's import a link and from react router dom and what we want to do we will wrap this entire div with a link okay like that and we're gonna provide two and it's gonna be home page after that is done let's close that let's close user links as well we can close fgs and pages we don't need them as well as with home and let's open our left sidebar inside the left sidebar what we're gonna import it's gonna be user of course and the user data so let's create that use context use context and let's import auth context from where context app context and under here let's destructure it like user and user data equals use context from 
auth context. Great. When this is destructured, we can go at the bottom over here, and there is our email. So let's search email over here, user email. We can simply go and add user dot email or user data dot email. Nice. We can open it and over here we are getting our email right now. We can go maybe to the main component and provide it over here as well but I think I will cover the main component like in different uh, separate video what else we can do here we provided that number there we manage that login let's get out did we try to log in with that maybe we can go to the register let me see when we refresh yeah we got two users so we tried one with a pop-up and another one by registering and signing let's go to the login maybe Marco we need email key Marco email .com. Go Marco let's see if that is right so Marco okay and let's log in and everything is working fine if we try to refresh we are still getting our users we want to go log out and let's close this sign out we are here great everything is working for for us right now and we'll start covering another components in another video see everyone next time bye